Okay, you've seen this turntable before, but we're going to do something special today with it. This is a Technics model SLD1 direct drive manually operated turntable from probably around 1980 or so. This is the one that I got from the radio station. This was actually one of their uh, on-air turntables towards the end of the vinyl era. And what we're going to do today is convert this to a three-speed turntable. From the factory, these only played 33 and 45 RPM, but in today's record collecting world, it, it is often desirable to have a turntable that will play 78 RPM records. And yes, there are new turntables available that play that speed, but most of them are just cheap plastic junk and the decent ones often cost several hundred dollars which is often out of the budget of many record collectors however you can buy these Technics turntables like this the model SLD1, the D2, or the D3 at yard sales and flea markets and such for usually twenty bucks or less the only difference in the three models, the D1 is a manual turntable, the D2 is semi-automatic, and the D3 is fully automatic. You know, for my needs, I personally like the manual turntable the best. Okay, so let's get to it. First thing we'll do is obviously remove the dust, and then you'll want to lift off the, plat, the platter mat and the turntable platter. And I don't know what this is all about, but whenever I lifted the platter mat, look at the oily crap that's all over the turntable platter. So <laughs> we're going to need to take the opportunity to clean all that crap off before we can proceed with this. Okay, the platter has now been removed, and now you want to make sure the tone arm is locked in position. Replace the dust cover, and then flip the turntable upside down. And if you have a good dust cover, you want to Make sure you're laying it on top of a protective surface to keep from scratching it up. But this one's so messed up, I don't think it would much matter. And then you'll want to remove the bottom cover. And that's done by removing the four feet, which are obviously held in place by screws. And the three screws in the uh, triangle configuration that you see there. Once you remove those screws, the bottom cover just lifts off. Okay, now you'll want to locate R7, resistor 7, on the circuit board. This is the resistor that's in the 45 RPM control circuit. And in order to convert the 45 RPM speed position to 78 RPM, you want to parallel a 56K ohm resistor. 56,000 ohm across R7. You don't want to take R7 out. You just parallel a 56k ohm resistor across it. Now if you're like me, you probably don't want to lose the uh, 45 RPM position. So in that case, you would just use a toggle switch. Double pole, double throw toggle switch would be most convenient or slide switch, whatever you want to use to enable the switching of the 56k ohm resistor in and out of circuit. With the resistor switched out of circuit, you have 33 and 45 RPM like you normally would have from the factory. When you switch the resistor in circuit, the 45 RPM selector position on the turntable becomes 78 RPM. Now, where you choose to mount the toggle switch is up to you. I think I'm going to mount it somewhere in this area here so it will be easy to get to. If you don't want holes drilled visibly on your turntable, I suppose you could mount it back here on the back somewhere. You know, just mount it wherever you want to. Just make sure that wherever you mount it, the switch or the wires going to the switch don't interfere with the movement of the tone arm or any other part of the turntable. 
And here we are with everything installed. You can see here's our switch. We have our resistor, our 56k ohm resistor, soldered across the center contacts. And then we have these two contacts running over here and soldered across R7 on the circuit board. And of course these two contacts on this end of the switch are not used. Now before we put this back together, I want to clean this pitch control with some uh, control cleaner as well as these two pitch control adjustments. You have one for 33 and 45 and I want to adjust those make sure they're right. And the way you do that is you set this main pitch control to the center of its rotation and then you adjust the set the speed switch here to 33 adjust the 33 RPM pot for correct speed and you flip it to 45 and do the same thing with the 45 RPM and once that's set when you flip it to 78 RPM then it should be pretty much on the correct speed okay here we are our master speed control set to 45 our 78 RPM switch engaged and I've adjusted the clean and adjusted the pitch control adjustments so they're accurate now there's still one thing we need to do here. A modern LP or 45 requires a 0.7 mil stylus. These old 78s generally have a 3 mil groove, so are generally require a 3 mil stylus because the groove is wider than an LP or a 45. So therefore, I need to purchase another cartridge and mount said cartridge to another head shell and have that cartridge fitted with a 3 mil 78 RPM stylus and in past experiences the cartridges I like to use for 78 use are either something like the Stanton 500 or Stanton 400 broadcast type cartridges and the reason I like those is because the styluses are fairly reasonably priced for those and, and those cartridges have the ability to track it anywhere between 3 and 7 grams which when playing 78 it's been my experience that you need a little bit heavier tracking force than what you would need for a LP or 45 but anyway I'm going to play this with the LP stylus I'm not too worried about it because this stylus is going to get replaced eventually anyway because I don't know how many miles it's had on it and this record's kind of worn so here we go and our pitch control works just like like it would if we were playing a 33 or 45 So there you go. Now one thing you can do to ensure that you're running at exactly 78 RPM is to print out a strobe disk. I think these are available often for free on various internet sites or they can be purchased from stores that sell turntable supplies. And that way you can set your pitch control to know if you're to 78 RPM exactly. But okay, there you go. Seems to be working fine. And now we have our 78 switch set to off and we're back to 33. So now we're back to normal, normal playback. And there's the schematic. 56k ohm resistor connected across the switch and there's our motor bar, our control board with R7 on it you can see how it's connected okay thanks for watching okay a few final thoughts on this project this is a Stanton 500 cartridge like what DJs and broadcasters use this particular cartridge is fitted with a 0.7 mil elliptical LP stylus 
although you can get conical LP styluses in uh, or styli, I believe is the proper term, but anyway, you can get a wide variety of needles for this cartridge, including 78 needles. But what I think I'm going to do is mount another Stanton 500 cartridge on another head shell and fit that particular cartridge with a 3 mil 78 stylus. By using the same type of cartridges, I won't have to play with this counterweight every time I switch from one head shell to another. And I believe I mentioned where sometimes the 78 RPM cartridges track better at a higher tracking force. This one's tracking at around 2.1 grams. I think the 78 cartridges do better in the 3 to 5 gram range. So if I mount the 78 cartridge to a DJ style head shell that has provisions to add a little screw on weight on top of the head, that should solve that problem. And also this turntable has a receptacle to mount a spare head shell or to store a spare head shell which is very convenient whichever head that I'm not using can just be stored back here and I'm gonna have to get another platter mat for the turntable you can see this one's all warped and deformed and cracked and just garbage by now and I should have known better than to uh, use a switch from my junk box this one's very touchy even after cleaning it you have to hold it in a certain position to get the 78 rpm function to kick in so I'll just have to go to Radio Shack and spend a few bucks on a switch and fix it right okay I'll give it one final demonstration here's a 45 <laughs> playing this through that little cheap Radio Shack amplifier on a couple of junk speakers. Okay, there's a 45. Now for an LP. I'm sure some of you will remember that song, David Soul, Don't Give Up On Us. And now for 78, we're now at 45. What they say you are, I'll have no complaint. Here's our pitch control. Whether it's which is also handy because a lot of 78s, especially early 78s, were not recorded at exactly 78 RPM. Okay, there you go, my modified Technics SLD1 three-speed turntable. Thanks for watching and more to come later. sound a lot fuller and have a lot less noise once I obtain the right 78 RPM stylus. Okay, there you go. I really am done this time. Thanks for watching and more to come next time.